Hello my friends, welcome back to a new episode of The Road to Rank 1. I'm your host Kevin DeConing. <laughs> they were playing our first game against Nikic, a 5.9k Zerg player who's going to be hopefully losing a couple of points here today. I was thinking of trying to block my opponent's natural, but we're playing on Ancient Cistern. It's a large map, I'm feeling good. Uh, I'm just going to go for, for a gateway scout, so a little bit delayed. Not going to be any issue here whatsoever. Ancient Sister, the best map in the current map pool for the Protoss versus Zerg matchup as well. Uh, don't get me wrong, if we compare this to the older maps, uh, I've mentioned it before, but I don't think it would make my top three. Uh, but in the new map pool, this is by far my top one, as all the other maps are fairly good for Zerg. So it's a... Uh, yeah, it's a fine it's a fine map, but we don't really get to see it all in tournament play Protoss versus Zerg. First veto for Zerg every single time. So uh yeah. No, no real point practicing it very much honestly. Unless you're planning on playing in the finals, you almost never play best of seven, so not entirely sure what the points of even having it on the ladder. Um we have this uh pool over here that's being thrown down. It's a pretty standard time, same with the gas. Ooh, he's uh, sending out a drone to try and deal with me. But uh, that shooter, that, that, that won't stop me. At least, I hope it won't stop me. We're going to continue trying to deny a little bit of mining here. Uh, if we can do that, that would be fantastic. If we can't do that, that would suck a little bit, honestly. I wouldn't enjoy that very much. Oh, we accidentally grabbed the minerals here. That wasn't great. Now, <clears throat> because this is such a good map for Toss, I am kind of feeling some type of... Uh, Stargate play, it's a—it's by far the best Stargate map. It's not that great for Glaive Adept, honestly, just because of the, the sheer size of the map. Uh, also, the way that the bases are laid out isn't entirely brilliant. Just gonna drop the Salt Shaker. Make sure my opponent knows that I'm already a little bit salty because I accidentally took these minerals. Uh, patrol over here so I can actually see what the first links are going to do as well. We'll chrono out a just an initial Adept. A little bit of scouting with that and... Uh, maybe maybe try to deal some damage with it's not really the priority here dealing damage uh, priority here is just going to get the scouting information make sure nothing weird is happening on his side of the map and then hopefully we'll take it from there you go over here buddy wonder where his first link went probably trying to run by get some scouting information so we'll need to keep that in mind he moves in with an overlord here. Don't think he's gonna finish that path. Doesn't seem very likely. Also wanna follow this up with a stalker actually. Ooh, double queens at front. We'll finish the shade then into the main base. I don't think these uh, queens are gonna be in position yet. Third queen not out yet. Of course not. So it's four links here. That means that nothing is across the map most likely. Let's see if we can snipe both. Don't think I can. Uh, no. Simply not in a good enough position there to do anything of the sort. So a random, uh, random probe made its way across the map. I want to get this Nexus up as well here immediately. And I'm playing it fairly safe, right? Double Adept plus Stalker. We can send our first Oracle across the map. I don't think that's going to be a major issue here. We'll get a, a fourth pylon already at this location. And we're going to make sure that you know, we're safe in this area. That's pretty much just the plan. Can get this base up as well. Don't think we're gonna deal a whole lot of damage. Not after uh, idling our Oracle there for about uh, four and a half minutes. Doesn't really seem to have a whole lot here though. Not a single drone. This might be a drone. Yeah. <laughs> we'll probably turn into a spore straight away. This is always the case, of course. Whenever you have good Zerg players, they never really lose that first one. I wonder if that Spore is going to end up finishing. Uh, it might. I think it will be slightly out of position though. So there is potential for a bit of damage, which is also good for me. Uh, I do like the thought of that. Twilight Council behind it. Ech, come on. Maybe we just go there to deny some creep then. You don't always have to go there to kill, to kill workers. Although it is nice to kill workers the majority of the time. For now, let's just focus uh, on some creep. Get one worker. Shade out over here. Nah. Not super feeling this. wonder if I can even shoot this. Yep, I can definitely. Plus one. And our uh, Nexus finishes up.
Oh, you see? All of these queens came from the third base, which means that right now, there's not enough queens here. So it's important to note where queens come from. It's not just important to know that there's queens in position to deal with your threat. It's important to figure out why they are there to deal with your threat. Where did they get pulled from? Where are they going to go back to? That type of stuff. These are the questions you really do want to know. If you can't figure out the answers to that, you're not never going to have a successful Oracle Harass, most likely. So my opponent goes across the map with this. That's interesting. Oh, that was actually pretty bad by me. Losing a lot of hull damage on that one. See if I can maybe clear one or two more links. Well, that seems somewhat unlikely. Immediately go for a Templar Archives behind this as well. Up. I got another creep tumor. I kind of want to see if he's already getting any type of third base or if this is going to be more of like a, a three base type of play. Seems to me like it's going to start as a four base because we already have it done at this point. And of course we saw the fast Evo Chamber as well. Let's not forget about that, huh? No plus one quite yet though. So that's at least, at least something. Um, because we did see the fast plus one. I think I'm tempted here to to actually not move out um, take a fourth base. I'm not afraid of Muras in any major way. We just straight away go into uh, the Templar Archives and into Blink as well. We're just going to play this fairly, fairly safe. Yeah, no way. I mean, there's no way that this is good. Where's my blink? It's almost done, actually. Yeah, that, that was a fi that was a fine trade for me. I'm absolutely zero worried right now. What was that? Oh, that was a prism. Actually, I'm a little bit worried about that. I'll admit to that immediately. Just pure link for now as well, which is starting to worry me a tiny bit. I wasn't worried at all, but legitimately no roaches at all. Is kind of suspicious. No? I feel like... Oh, okay, now we see some roaches. Oh, we're definitely seeing some roaches coming out. What's the worker count here, actually? What is the worker count here? Queen's moving across the map already as well. Yeah, don't want to deal with that garbage. Queen wall could actually ruin my party at least a little bit. Here we go. Big attack on my base. I think that's a dead base now. Seems to be the case. We'll cancel it just to make sure that we'll survive. Don't lose any workers here. Or any uh, units. Oh. Eh, end of the day, is it really that bad to lose a base? I mean, it sucks, especially gas wise, but I think I'll survive once. Just gotta make sure that I figure out at some point what my opponents. Uh, what my opponent's uh, tech level is. So are we fighting against someone that's going to be on Hive soon? Are we fighting against someone that's still stuck on Lair? Like, these are, these are different things, of course. Oh. No matter what tech they're at, though, I never want to give up my uh, Immortal for free. It's one thing that I do now. Um, kind of want to scout. So we'll do it. Do a little bit of scouting here with Oracles. Just going to make sure that I kind of know what's going on. Okay, Oracle's dealt with that relatively well. Look, like he has two little units right now, huh? Okay, Archon can move back as well. Just gonna super battery this so I can actually do a good job. I think we have too many units at this point. Um, I'm going to make sure that I have charge. I do have charge. I'm gonna set up a run by with one Archon in it. And then we'll move across the map once we can. So, one of the. The things you always want to do is be kind of careful with moving out on the map because you never want to lose your uh, your your high templar of course what oh he's going into what wait what are you getting into actually am i still being all in here it's plus two now yeah okay i'm not worried about this at all Also have an attack over here. 
Eh. Gotta make sure I don't lose this. Do do believe that I might get flanked here, which would actually suck. Also gotta make sure that I have reinforcements at all times. My one Archon isn't really in a good spot to die here. I don't want him to yet. So has a long life to live. It's the only thing I care about. Gotta get a couple of these stasis wards up as well. Two more Archons. Then we'll take it from there. These are also two more Archons, by the way. You guys go up here. I think if there's no lurkers, we win this game. And even if there is lurkers, maybe we can win this game. Mm, not the greatest fight. It's not the greatest start of the fight. Now the beauty of playing against lurkers, if you're in this type of a position, is I actually have a lot of map control. And we can go straight away into these carriers. And I don't think I should ever be in trouble. Gonna get a lot of cannons around the map, especially on our fort base. Get one uh, one Templar at each base and just keep an eye on what my opponent is doing. So we have this thing, which is going to allow us, the moment we rotate to a different type of location, it's going to allow us to counterattack the moment he moves out. So that's, that's already just a great start for me, right? It just allows me so much uh, kind of freedom with this army. So this looks kind of bad, but... Then my opponent also is getting completely destroyed here in the back, so I'm zero, zero worried about this, actually. Actually, still has a couple of these dudes over there. It's kind of pissing me off. Oh, I actually lost this base? I'm surprised by that. What's my work account? We're at 84. Oh, whatever. Continuing carrier production, as it's by far the most important thing. And we're gonna send in over here as well. Oh, we're not gonna send in over here yet. That's pure Hydra. I think I want a couple more Templar. Ooh. This one's gonna go into the main base. And then we're gonna move into this general direction. Make sure we don't get hurt by anything. Plus two should be on the way. There we go. What are you doing, Chief? Oh my god. Not entirely brilliant. Can storm that once, that's nice. And then this base is absolute toast, so that's also nice. Maybe we just have too many carries. Well, we only have two carries right now. There's actually not too many yet. So storm doesn't even hit anymore. It used to be so good against Hydra. It feels very good, but definitely lost a little bit of its charm, you know? It used to be unbeatable practically, and nowadays, I mean, it's still very good. Ah, who am I kidding? Still very, very good. Okay, I'm just gonna go across the map. So, go for a base trade. We're definitely gonna win that, I think. Um, the reason for that is because I have carriers on the way. And I have plenty of detection with my army. And I have control of this ramp as well, which definitely does help. Upgrades for him also are balls. It also really, really helps for me, honestly. Ship, couple more salads. I think that's gonna be game now. The only thing I am lacking currently is well, there's a couple of things I'm lacking. I'm lacking interceptors and I'm lacking storm. Actually, the two most important things in my army currently. Hmm. Don't think it's gonna matter though. We have very good upgrades as well. Continue to get more of these. We still have some backup stormers, maybe. Not sure if we can get them into the fight in time. Why has uh, nothing been built here? Well, I mean, something has been built here, but it ain't working. Just keep getting killed. My money is a bit lower than I thought it would be. That is somewhat dangerous. I think he's gonna go for my carriers, right? Ooh. I'm still legitimately zero worried, because Storm is extremely good, but I also kind of need to be careful. We're on four bases, or we're on five bases against five. We're on four, five bases against four. Good lord. That was one hell of a sentence. Um, plus three starts. I have very little vision of the middle here, though. Freaking lurkers, huh? Let's 
just gonna throw a couple more of these. The range of that, huh? Kinda crazy. Ah, uh, maybe. Okay, I think we're actually fine. We can just attack and move into this right now. I have so little cash. Why do I have so little cash the entire time? That's actually one thing that does kind of piss me off here. Let me turn this into Archons. I didn't have so little money. Really felt like I should have been mining more. I guess my fifth base never really got off the ground, huh? Uh. This survives. We have every single unit that we can dream of right now. Should have had a mothership as well. Motherships are very overpowered in these types of scenarios. Mothership is terrible in every situation in the game, except for the absolute late game in Protoss versus Zerg. Hydras though, really not disappointing me. Quite quite the opposite actually. Hydra Hydras continue impressing me. By quite a bit. Oh, look at that. Look at that split. Wow, Kevin. Almost like you're a Terran player, splitting one unit away from the other. That looks very difficult. Yeah, true. Indeed true. 12 points in the pocket. Yeah, 12 points that belonged to my opponent at one point, but not anymore. So we get them for free. And we're gonna queue up again. Kind of feel like playing a PvP here. I have a, I have a good PvP build that I want to play. I have a good PvT build as well that I want to play. I have good builds for every matchup. No matter what matchup, we'll have a good time. That's the beauty of Protoss. Oh, we got Mixu over here. Always exciting. Zerg player, of course. Not quite sure why I clicked that. Pretending like I didn't know what race he was. It's always a good move. Asking people what race they are. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things to do. A while ago, I was playing an ESL Open Cup. And there was a... Is this lag? This is lag. There was a 3.8k player or something, or 4k player that asked me what my race was. And I was pretty sure this player knew as well, you know? Pretty sure my opponent was, was aware of what was going on. Yeah, that's definitely being bamboozled a little bit there. At least that's what it felt like. Another person that's going to be bamboozled here today is going to be Mixu. Ooh, three block is natural, for starters. Uh, is, is, is part one of the bamboozlement. Uh... The best part. Blocking the natural. A bit laggy. Well, 190 ping to euros, not correct. My internet's been funky all day. Real funky. Earlier it even got blasted out for a bit, which really never happened, so I was kind of surprised by it. I haven't had any issues yet with my internet ever since I got here, but... You know, at some point in your life, internet issues are, are gonna arrive. There's nothing you can do about it, except just accept it. So that's what I've done right now. Just playing through the pain. That's life. Okay. Um, we're not going to get too much gas here. Ooh. Nice one. That actually cost him quite a bit. <laughs> not sure why he would do that even. It's like I even have the minerals in my mount, so I can just press the return cargo button. And my my probe will travel through whatever, you know, whatever it is surrounded by. Pretty perfect. So uh, the build here that we'll be playing is a 3-gate opener into 4-gate into Robo Bay. And it is currently my favorite Glaive Adept opener build. And it's also the one of the only Glaive Adept openers I think that you need. Because it has, it has what do you call it? Characteristics of every single Glaive build out there in it. Like, it has, it kind of has all the, the good parts combined. And my nose is itchy, holy crap. I wonder why that is. I wonder why that is. Um, I haven't sneezed yet today. I always feel like that people often look upset when they sneeze, but for me, sneezing is one of the greatest feelings in the world. It makes me very happy. You let out a good sneeze, you know? It feels like you're you're a cleaned man all of a sudden. Sure, the people around you are a little bit less clean, unless you put your hand in front of your nose or your mouth or at the same time. I'm not actually sure where the sneeze is supposed to come out from, the mouth or the nose? Probably the nose. Anyway, um... Yeah, we got the. A li we're gonna play triple, triple adept here, which is a very high tier way of doing this. Let me tell you that much. Very high tier. This is this is how all the professionals do it these days. Or well, I've invented this so far, and no, I've seen no one else do it yet. But I know this is going to be a, a hot topic. The next pro gamer meeting. It, is, it, is, it, it just feels good, you know. Oh, we're gonna piss off here. 
Oh, we're gonna kill like four. Oh my god, look at that surround that he just got there. That was pure luck though. There was no skill involved there. Yeah, legitimately. Oh my god, that upset me so much. That upset me actually so much. To an, unre an unreasonable degree as well. Oh! Because I, a slight miscommand there, and I get surrounded. Uh, all of his links start dealing a lot of damage. Otherwise, I kill like wait, two, two drones, three, four links. Nothing's going on, you know? Life is good. Life is fantastic. But now life is garbage. I hate it. I have one less of that. This is such a huge deal for the early game. Because, like I said, this build has the... Kind of has little things from... It's, it's a mixed build, you know? It has the initial move out from the strange build. But then it also has a prism from like a regular four gate glaive. These are really the only two different variations that I'm aware of. So that's all the it's also the only two two things that it really contains. Oh, look at that! How fast it is. So we're gonna send these across the map as well. And we're going to continuing to uh, to rally my prism. More, more, more pilots. Wait, I need one more, don't I? Wait, I thought I already built this. I gotta be supply block now? Oh, this is not a good time to be supply block. Oh, I was upset by that. You know that? I actually am kind of upset by that. I got a robot way here, I guess. Blech! And we need two more workers for full saturation. I wonder if we can afford this. Yeah, I probably can. I'm the king of this. I run this joint. Okay, never mind, we can. Let's go. Whoop! Four more. We have 16. We all know how many it really should have been. But sadly, that's not the case here. So I messed it up. I lost one for free. Up, oh, two queens. Hoppa. Wait, why don't I have a... There we go. A thing yet. Maybe we can go in here. Maybe we just need to clear all of these. I wonder if this is good for me or not. Do we have another disruptor on the way as well? Hoppa. I think he's gonna have like two units left. Two drones, that's it, no? Damn, I killed so much here. I think I built too many workers as well at the same time, but you know we can we can forgive my sins. We can we can never forgive other people's sins. That's a it's an important thing to remember in life. So when you make a mistake, there are good reasons for it. Someone else does it it's because they're pricks. They have no empathy. It's a very good way to go through life like that. Other people never have good reasons for the things you do, but you always do. Don't forget that. It makes life a lot easier if you think like that. You know what else makes life a lot easier? If uh, these adepts kill like 35 more workers, it actually would make life a lot easier. Cool. I hope I don't lose this. Is there legit like no drones over here or what? There's like two. I think he might be in some trouble, no? He's on like one gas. This actually makes me kind of sad for my opponent. Kind of want to give him a hug, you know? I have 58 workers already. I'm owning. Is there even a... There's not even a lair yet. This is, this is sad to watch. This, this is actually, I think, the hardest I've ever dominated a Zerg in my entire life. I'm telling you, this build is broken. Well, it's not broken, broken. It's like, it's very good, you know? <laughs> GG. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> 35 workers. Oh my god. 12 workers already. Here the game is over. I can I can go home. It's probably better to go home here for me, so I have a lot of adepts still alive. Like 13 adepts alive, and I'm up 15 workers. I could just build a nexus behind this. Look how many workers I'm queuing. If my macro was actually good, my third base would be on the way. It would be finished like a minute before I started now even. Because I started at like 6.40. I could start it at 5. Okay, like 30, legit 30 seconds too late. It's so sick. This build is very, very good. I'm telling you. It's one of my favorite builds. 10 points in the pocket. And uh, another win. Today is going to be one of these rare days where I only win games. I can feel it. I'm going to go 4-0.
Okay, that's my that's my that's my grand prediction. 4-0. And if I do it, I'll be very happy. Got ourselves a little Terran player over here. The beauty against Terran players, of course, is that I feel fairly comfortable. Don't think there's any reason for me to lose this. And if there is a reason for me to lose it, then I'm not aware of it yet. It's a barcode. Didn't quite catch the MMR. I was too late with tabbing back in. My apologies for that. Also forgot one probe just now. My bad as well. Two times my bad in a row. Cancels out. So we're all good. Um, just gonna scout around. It's always fairly... It's, it's a time as well where Hero Marine is laddering. I hate this thing that Hero Marine does. Is every time he sees me, he says, Harson plays very greedy. Then he proxy erects me and he wins the game. Then he says, see, he plays very greedy. But it's not because I play greedy. It's because I'm bad at the game. I just don't understand how to beat the proxy rex. I think Hero Marine is aware of this as well. That it messes with my head. I think he knows. I have a build, by the way. Unlike all other times. I really have a build that I, I think is quite good. This is a build that Haas did. Um, a while ago, he was doing this. And it's a build that's mainly focused around... Wait, hold that one. First one to get my scouting in. Single gas, looks very standard. I'm gonna be too late to block his CC. That's annoying, but not the end of the world. Uh, I wanna check what his first unit is as well. He maybe hit this a couple of times. Should definitely help out. Oh. Doesn't seem to be a marine, which is interesting. Just gonna hit this two more times, maybe. Okay, and then the Reaper comes out. It's gonna start looking for me. We're just gonna piss off to a, a place far, far away. Oh, I forgot to start my adapt. And we'll play Twilight into Stalker into Sentry, I think. Oh, come on, that's so lame. I want to kill this Karak at least. That's something. I wonder if I can just move across the map. I don't think I actually can. No, I'll play, I'll play Adapt, Adapt into Sentry. Adapt, Adapt into Twilight Council into Sentry. That's the way forward here. And then we go without a robotics facility, double force, really fast third base, that type of jazz. It's actually quite good. It's one of these build orders that might even be, I'll say the word, the U word, underrated. I think double force build without a, without a robot are actually okay. It's the only type of, uh, the only type of Twilight macro build that I kind of approve of. All the other ones, I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, I wonder if he's actually gonna allow me to hit this. Oh, that was not great. I mean, he will scout what I'm doing up here now. That's that. We're gonna need one more gate here. It's kind of frustrating that I didn't already start that, because now my thing is going to be too late. My first warp in is actually going to be fairly delayed. We can't get a very fast third base, though. Look at this. Boom. Maybe it's not so bad after all. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. But he's gone caught. I'm wondering why. Got out of bed at all. Morning. Okay. And with this scout, we're going to get the full info that we need. If we don't get the full info that we need, I'll be fairly upset. It also means that we made a mistake. Ooh, okay, that's good. Mind drop into tech lab that's producing something. That's also interesting. Um, as a result of that tech lab that's actually producing something, I want to get a third gate here. So usually I wouldn't do that, but now I'll say, you know what, we'll get a third gate. We'll also get our first forge. No extra forge needed. I didn't see an armory. I don't think there's going to be banshees. It seems unlikely, at least to me. I'm lacking some vision in the far corner here, which is bad. Stupid. A little bit idiotic. Wait, where are you at? Where'd you go? I miss you so. I blink is gonna finish up soon as well. Wait, is he up here? No way, right? I don't believe it. I don't actually buy that. No way. Because then I can shoot him with if I get my next if I get my next thing out, my next hallucination, which I do want to use. 
at least I want to start getting it, probably. Okay, this feels okay as well. I want them to unburrow at least once. Please tell me you can pick it up. Lost something there. Not sure what it was. Felt like it was an adept that I sent across the map. And that I now not have anymore. I was playing Terran the other day and I played against this build. And I had completely forgotten about it, honestly. And then someone did it to me. I was like, man, this build is good. I wonder why we never do. And then I thought to myself, well... The reason why most Protoss players don't actually play it is because if the Terran stays at home, it's not so bad for the Terran. But then again, it's also not so bad for the Protoss, right? It's a fast third base, by the way. It's not slow, at least. I got a cannon over here. Well, at least give me something. I'll put the Stalkers in the dead space. Also need more vision on the map here. That's one thing I do know. Going up to 10 gateways, which is a very significant number of gates, actually. There's no joke. Like eight gateways is probably a little bit safer, funnily enough, because you're investing less into gateways. So you have slightly more units and also a little bit faster, slightly more units. But with this type of stuff, the very cool thing is that you can get a lot of units out of three bases. There's very little the Terran can do about that, which I generally quite, quite like. So we're gonna warp in some more. We have one one soon. We're gonna start moving across the map. But the problem with 10 gate is that you're pretty much forced into an attack. Because you don't really have money for a fort base like you usually would. So usually you could get a fort base, while at the same time also getting some other garbage. Um yeah, zero zero. We're up two upgrades right now. Watch this. Oh he hit himself! He hit himself in the face. He doesn't have stim? This is not a build order. This is a disaster. Oh no. This is not good. What are you doing, my friend? Maybe destroy this game. Yeah, this game doesn't count. My opponent here, I think was... Uh, I think it's like 5-5 five, five MMR or so. It's not solid MMR. This didn't feel that good. And no GG either. 2-2 uh, two, two on the way. I don't like the 10 gates, though. I think I'll cut that part. Faster Robo instead. I'm gonna get, like, 6 points for that. 5 points. Yeah, 5-6. Who was this, though? No GG? Gonna figure out who that was. Alright, see you in the next one. Alright, we're playing against the big paradox. I'm not quite sure what the big paradox is. All I know is that at the end of this game, I'm gonna have a couple more MMR in my pocket. I'm feeling fairly good. I'm feeling fast. It's weird. Usually at night, I always feel very slow. It's a little bit later than I usually play, but today, I was like, should I still play a couple of games? And I wasn't sure. And I was like, you know what? A couple of games, might as well record it. You know, you're hitting the ladder anyway. It's like 12 right now. Usually I'll be fast asleep. No, actually, I don't sleep at 12. I pretend to go at, to sleep at 12. You know, I'm one of these people that says that they sleep at 11.30. I really mean is that I start thinking about sleeping at 11.30. Then by 12.30, I start heading to bed. And by 1, I'm uh, starting to sleep, you know? It's, that's usually how it goes. So there's, there's definitely a, a gap between where I say I'm sleeping and where I actually am sleeping. But the, the aim is always 11.30. So it's a perfect, a beautiful time. It's technically, you can wake up at 7.30 then and be well rested. Is that what I do is I wake up at 7.45 because I pretend like I go to sleep at 11.30. Then I'm tired and stay in bed for half an hour longer. Which doesn't really cure the tiredness. Snoozing is literally the worst thing in the world. And I keep doing it. It's an awful... God. They should have an alarm that hides itself. You know? And you need to find it. It's like a... A treasure hunt but for your alarm and it runs away from you as well i bet they does exist as well that would be one hell of a gift for someone's birthday i if i if it was my birthday i would want that as a gift if you're an engineer and you think you can make this please uh send me a message or send me the finished project product i won't be capable of helping anyway there's no point in sending me a message that you're gonna make it what say what did they say again you uh under 
under promise and over deliver. That is what you're supposed to do. That's what I so get me that thing immediately. I wonder how much it would be worth for me. I probably pay 50 bucks for something that runs away from me. Okay, he just killed a probe. Let's pretend that never happened. That probe, I'd also pay 50 minerals to get it back. Look at this now. There's a move. There's a move and a half. What are you doing, Chief? Huh? He moved around. Around, around, get around. I think he's gonna get up my ramp as I'm moving out with this, with this dude. Oh, that's tight. I wonder if I can finish this or not. What? Excuse me, my friend. That is kind of weird, no? That is really weird, no? We have one more unit coming out? I don't like the feeling of this, you know that? I don't like the feeling of this at all. Okay, we're gonna get a Void Ray out. Oh, this would not be a good way to lose this game. <sighs> Can I attack this as well? Actually, we're gonna go in from this angle. What was he doing? Eh. Okay, we're gonna piss off for a second. Send these in. Oh, he might be uh, coming in here or what? No, he's not coming in here. What? What's happening here? I am fairly, fairly afraid of like a maybe blink or something. What is this? Okay, this is good. It is a win. Right? Yeah, we're actually down in workers a significant amount. Oh, my Oracle's gonna die, which would really suck. Hit him! Okay, this actually really, really sucks. We have superior uh, force, though, of units here. Maybe I can even catch some of these by blocking properly. Look at this. This would be the move. Ah, come on, let me block you, prick. He's probably trying to get out of this hole, though, that he dug himself into, no? Die! Ah, got it. We have two, two void rays here. I'm not very close at all currently to a, uh, what do you call it? To a recall. I thought maybe I would be close to a recall, but I'm not. And it's actually starting to piss me off a tiny tad as well. Do we need a, a battery in the main base? Maybe we can get one. Maybe it's not that bad of a plan in general. I'm not sure if it's necessary really, because he's probably going to attack my downstairs now. Not that I think about it. That makes the most sense for him. So he proxied a robo, opening with adept adept into robo. What a terrible build order this was. This is one of those build orders you read about in the news, you know, and you don't believe it. It's like, the, I once saw this video <laughs> of a guy who wins the lottery. And then when he, rec it's like from a scratch off ticket, I think it is. So he wins the lottery and then a local TV crew comes by to film you know how it went so they he goes into the shop buys another lottery ticket and with the lottery ticket in order to fake it for the tv he once again wins like 25k or something like that it's like uh, the sickest video i recommend everyone to watch this it's very good that is about as unlikely as the build that my opponent here played this game is, is not good it's a bad builder is a second pylon on the map Adapt, adapt, warp gate, robo completely on his own side. Hey, this is 
you can't immortal all in like this. I know I, I've immortal all in a lot in my life, and this is not a viable way to do it at all. It hits way too late. Like I, I defended this with a Stargate first and a Nexus on the low ground while playing Oracle before Void Raid. This is like, there's like three worst case scenarios for me in a row, and I still win. Uh, it's obviously not allowed. There's like uh, losing a foot race against a guy that can only run backwards, um, doesn't have shoes, and also doesn't know where the track is located. So shows up late without shoes and runs backwards and still manages to finish the 100 meter dash faster than you did. And it's, a, it's like, this is not a good build. This is just, this build is, if you're watching this big, big paradox, I recommend you to not play this build again. I don't enjoy it. It also dies against any sentry first stuff. It just dies against a lot of things. Minus five, well, my, oh, minus four, plus five for me. That's Blizzard giving me the, the one free point. All right, that's going to be it for me today, actually. Um, thanks everyone for watching. Yes, for watching uh, this only win episode of Road to Rank 1. The last time that happened was in 2021 on the third Tuesday of September. Um, and it happened today as well. So uh, if you want to see this once more, tune in again in two years from now. But otherwise, uh, like the video and subscribe. Ciao, ciao.